You are back here on Hawk Radio with Jazzy J and Q and Lawrence. Say what's up, y'all. Slender one. Konnichiwa. <laughs> yes, yes, we are here. Uh, let's see here, here. Seeing some problems. Okay, here it is. Anyways, so today basically is the day before voting. We have yeah. to vote for our next president. Yeah. We can either stick with Obama or... Mitt Romney. Or we can go to Mitt Romney. Mm. And since I will not be voting for Mitt Romney, <laughs> um, I'm really just nervous because I was seeing statistics recently that Mitt Romney might actually win tomorrow. Oh. Now, my question for both of y'all is what would you do if Mitt Romney wins tomorrow? How, how do you think you react? I'm moving to Africa. Slenderman. No, but all seriousness. <laughs> If Romney won tomorrow, if he got more votes than Obama, it's the end. <laughs> it's, it's, the end. Like, it's the end. It's the end. Of, it's the end of time. Of public assistance. <laughs> it's the end for everybody. No more first than the fifteenth. Well, you really gotta wait till the next four years. Well, if he, and it's gonna be crazy because people gonna actually get what they really want. And go ahead and put Romney in office. Yeah, I'll be crazy. <laughs> yeah, what? I'm be I'm be at 53 Herb up in Buffalo, chilling, just watching y'all crazy people. People gonna be complaining. Oh my God, he won! But don't be the people that ain't vote. <laughs> Are you registered? Are you registered to vote? It's too late to register it's now. It's too late. But anybody that finally did get registered, I'm going to need you to really wake up early in the morning. If you know you got work at night, get up early in the morning and go vote. The polls open at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Guess who's getting up early? I am. I'm going back to Buffalo, and I'm going to go vote with my mom. I am going to vote later You're... on that night. I'm going after I get out of here. Kwan's voting? Yeah, my first time. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah. That's okay. good. I yeah. Got, I got my, my stuff in the mail. All right. Yeah, All right. Places and times and... And things, man. I have to go on MapQuest. I know uh, my location is like on Walden somewhere, but I'm not. Walden and. Uh, it just says Walden. It had the name of the place, but I, of course I ain't gonna know at the top of my head. But it's on my voter's card. And yeah. what time it open and what time it close? Mine's open at six a.m. Another one it close at um nine. Okay. Uh, well, really, with that vote, it's not really we, we can much that we can say if if he wins. Yeah, now we just going to, just like if we joking around and everything, it's nothing more that we can say. Now yeah. it's really... Put door. up. Yeah, the gritty. door's about to open, and whoever stepped through the door, that is, that, that's what we're going to get. So it, it can, you can talk about it all you want, boo. And that fat lady seeing him out. Yeah. Get the numbers in. Middle class, poor class, be prepared, man. Yeah. It's either put up or shut up because I mean, the first thing you gonna, people gonna be doing if he wins is gonna be complaining. Oh, I can't believe it. See, I told you my vote wouldn't count. Your vote do count if you get all your friends to go and push it so your state could be that state that give us the one that we need. Right now, Ohio is a swing state, and oh yeah, they talking about Ohio. it's really, it's really, really on the border right now. So if you got a friend in Ohio and you want Obama to win, call them up and say, listen, <laughs> I'm going to need you to get a group of people and go down there and vote tomorrow. If they're registered. If mm -hmm. they're registered. Most people didn't register. Mm -hmm. I know a few people that's registered, but I know a lot of people that's not registered, mm -hmm. which is like a, a, a big, big problem because... Um, we really, a lot of people voted in the first election because I guess it was more at a point, let's try to make history, let's try to get a, a black person in office. Yeah. And then now people is just like, okay, we did that. And they just moving on. But come on, y'all really want progress to keep going and for us to actually have a middle class again because I feel middle class doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. You know. At all. You're breaking an arm and a leg just to buy a bracelet. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Get that base bracelet. I don't know about getting that. You got to think about paying your bills first do, before you do anything else because right. you can't afford nothing. I really. need more students to vote. Yeah. Because I ain't trying to pay Sally Mae till I'm gray in the face. Uh -huh. Till I'm gray in the head. Till I got hairs growing out my ears and my nose. 
Because they, they chewing me up right now. <laughs> no, I know the same as that feeling because I got the same Grinch. She, she owe me right now. Sally <laughs> May getting this paper. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I know I own some uh, money for school. I'm basically on my last year. And uh, yeah, it's starting to get real out here, y'all. I'm going to be getting that, that check. No more refund checks. It's going to be me paying everybody back for all the loans. If you want to keep getting student loans and stay in college, go to grad school, whatever you need to do, I personally think you need to go for Obama. Because if not, it's over, y'all. It's over. He calls, uh, Mitt Romney actually said, why does the government have to pay for school? You know? <laughs> he got a mask on. I didn't know. Okay, all right. But Miramity said, why should the government even have to pay for this school? He sound real sick. <laughs> 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 uh, but you didn't even know he had a mask he, on. He, he, he wants our parents to break their pockets and ourselves to actually pay for school. So... We're gonna be poor, y'all. Yeah, no. We um, already poor, y'all. We I gonna mean, be. Already We're already poor. We're already, we are already we, in debt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wanted to know if, if anybody's seen that. Um, it's been. I've been seeing it. I saw it a lot over the weekend. It's this commercial, and it's like a, it's like a public service announcement. They got. A, it's a group. Well, it's in. It's based in the year twenty thirty, and it, it's in China. And I guess it's like a, it's like a college. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I assume it's a college. It's, it's a professor speaking to the the children. Or the, the adults or, or the students. And he was talking about how great nations had came up and how they fought and how they didn't stick to the principles of how they made them great. Because everybody knows, common knowledge, that most of our debt is in China. Yeah. We owe them the most. And at the end of the commercial, it said that we were working for them and now they work for us. And this is in the year 2030. So that's what they're trying to project to us. If... We don't go back to how the America would, would begin, like back to the roots of how we wanted to run it, not back to the old way of thinking and how people didn't have rights in slavery, but to what made the, the country great. Yeah. Those yeah. principles. Yeah, and we don't have much principles left. I honestly think that people truly believe that their vote don't count, but I just find it ignorant for people to still feel that way when we got President Barack Obama into office. Because if our vote didn't count, we wouldn't have got him into office in the first place. But just like you said that, um, a few minutes ago, how people, everybody wanted to get an uh, African-American president in. Most mm -hmm. of those people didn't re even really know what his policies were. They were just voting because he was black. Uh -huh. That's crazy. And that, well, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't <laughs> vote on a person just because you like the way they sound or the way they look. You should actually do research into what their plan really is. We all know that it's politicians that always say things in order to get into office. And to us, it seems as if they don't do anything. Well, it's because the president has a lot of red tape, a lot of people he has to go through to pass things. He got to sign or get it signed by other people. He just can't go out and do things. If that was the case, mm -hmm. <laughs> and all our problems would be solved. If that was the case. Mm -hmm. But everything's the way, the way it is. And I feel like, honestly, I just feel like if people, if you were going to go out there and vote, and you really didn't know what his policies was, and now you know what the policies is, then go out and vote now. Like, I mean, before you was just going out, and I'm not trying to say you vote off ignorance, but like, it was a good thing that many people came out to vote last, last like, um, the first election where Obama got in. But I'm saying, if you could do it last time, you should do it this time, because now you understand and you see that he's making change, you know, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a change to come. But a lot of the times, when I was watching this thing on BT, they were saying, People in, I don't know, was he from Chicago? Yeah, he's from okay. yeah, Chicago. Okay, yeah, so. City. They was basically, the people in Chicago was feeling some type of way towards Obama. So they're saying he didn't come back and all the boys out there just doing whatever they want to. But you can't blame Obama for what your kid is out here doing. If y'all want to change so bad. Like we said, other shows, people losing their morals. If you're going to sit there and complain about your kids. <laughs> <laughs> hide your wife yeah. and hide your husband. Uh, everything. Uh, Chicago. Um, yeah, it's murder capital right now. Yeah. Murder capital. Murder capital. 
I'm crazy over Buffalo. That's crazy. It's crazy, <laughs> y'all. And they keep blaming. They trying to blame like him because I was watching this thing. It was on BT, and they was showing people like saying why they was registered to vote, and they was talking about all the stuff that was going on, like the violence and things of that nature. And they're saying that oh, he w- became president, and now he ain't coming back here. He's president of the United States. How is he going to come all the way back to Chicago when he's trying to um, rule the free world? True. It's like that's ignorant itself for you to not vote for him because he didn't come back home. Like he sit there in Chicago. He got his roots from there. He advertised for Chicago. He really did a lot of things, but he can't do everything. You can't put everything on one person, you know, and he finally get into office. And then we do something that we're known for doing a lot. It's hate on each other. Why can't you just be happy for the man and be like, okay, he make a change. Now we're going to have to find somebody to replace him that's going to continue that change in that specific area. You know what I mean? Yeah. That election, man. Mm-hmm. It's like, like I said before, I'm really, I'm really sitting here silent because usually in the shows I talk a lot. But I'm really just sitting here silent because it's not much I can say about it. Yeah. I can, t- I can tell you. Well, I want I want this outcome, or I want this. I can I, I I would like to, but I'm not going to because it's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my time. Whatever happens happens tomorrow. Yeah. Whatever happens, well, if anybody get their heart broken, it's, sorry, you should have voted. If you didn't vote, you should now you shouldn't be whining. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean you can't complain if you ain't do nothing. But I'm gonna go out and vote. Hopefully, New York, everybody stay Democrat like we usually end up winning for a Democrats over here in New York State. Liberal state. So, sorry Republicans. I don't think it's swinging y'all way tomorrow. But <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. And um, hopefully Ohio end up, you know, that swing vote. Whoever's Democrat over there, get your butt out and vote mm-hmm. because it's important, y'all. Did you hear about that um, that text message or some message going around about Obama? Oh, yeah. Okay. So then message, you're talking about the, the trick, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. that, I don't, yeah. Some information that they didn't put out for us. I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not, but I've seen it uh, multiple times. Some other people writing up and telling me about it. Have a public service announcement. Okay, so basically, it's a chain letter going around basically saying that. They're trying to do us like they did in 2000 and make it so when we put our vote in for Democrats, it's not being counted. Mm. Now, first thing is first, when you go in there, make sure you ask somebody at the toll booth to show you exactly how to vote. Now, the chain letter is going across saying that if you go into if you go in the booth tomorrow, do not pick your... At, um, pick Democrat first. Don't pick Democrat first because your vote is not going to count towards Obama. You have mm-hmm. to pick the candidate and then your party. Because if you pick the candidate, then your party, then it's going to count as a vote. However, if you go the other way around, it's not going to count and it's going to be a bunch of mayhem going on like when Bush got put into office, if you know what I mean. The Florida incident. No, it's fine. <laughs> a bunch of scandals going on, y'all. <laughs> So please pay attention, and when you go in there, ask if you don't know what you're doing, ask, ask for help. Like I probably will. It'll be my first time voting. I mean, so yeah, just ask for help because they will help you. That's what their job is there for. But don't go in there just excited like oh, and just start pushing buttons because you're gonna walk out and your vote not even gonna count. And mm-hmm. they got a bunch of other stuff going on to keep people from voting also. So I, I suggest y'all read the guidelines, know what's going on before y'all go out there, so you won't have any drama going on when you get there. So um, we'll be right back. I'm going to play some of your music here with Q and Lawrence. And then we'll go into some um, entertainment news that happened during the week. And we'll be right back here on The Connection. You are back. We back here on The Connection with Jazzy J, Lawrence, and Q. I am the flea. (laughs) Okay, so the mask that he got on is from Mexico, you said? Mucha lucha. He got a mask on from Mexico, y'all. Can I get a close-up on that? Get a close-up on the mask real quick, y'all. Yeah, leave. Hold on, let me give you a close-up of the mask. I, it reminds me of like a wrestling mask or something. He's a luchador. Rain Mysterio hair live right here on the jazz. It's like an action. Act- <laughs> now, ain't that flea. Mucha lucha. Yeah, that's all thick. I that's like donuts. Mexico. That's from Mexico. Right. A- Aztec warrior. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got it from Costa Mayo. Is that... Mexico for ten dollars. <laughs> for ten American dollars. That's not so, bad. Ten pesos. Not a not, not hundred and eighty pesos. Just ten American dollars. Yeah, just ten American dollars. That's right. pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Did they have you like convert your money over and stuff like that? Is no. it possible? No, 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 no. So they just took American do- yeah. dollars? Because that's where everybody else stopped at. Like uh, tourists attracted. Yeah, oh, tourists. okay. Yeah. 
Cause I was wondering how that works, like how how they count their money or do they use like what do pesos look like? Is that paper money too, or is it I coins? Never, I've never seen. I'm pretty sure they got they have paper money in their pesos. Uh, yeah. Or maybe peso is like a dollar. Yeah, I'll, maybe. Or, or you try to say is like, is it a dollar in cents? Like we say change or cents. I don't. I don't uh, know. But I thought peso was a dollar. I said yeah. I think it's a buck. Yeah. Okay. So other news going on today. Um, CeeLo is. I guess he has a case pending against him for sexual battery. Oh. Okay, CeeLo's in bit trouble. Basically, what happened, I just read this because I really didn't have much. It wasn't much going on this week. Mm-hmm. But according to TMZ, um, a woman from Los Angeles is claiming that uh, the FU singer uh, drugged this woman. He went to a restaurant with her, drugged her, and she woke up in his hotel room, and then she ran off, and she's claiming that um, he uh, allegedly sexually assaulted her. And she had called him and recorded a message of him basically saying and admitting that um, he um, did drug her and it was ecstasy that was in her cup or whatever. So she had reported it to the police according to sources that happened in like July. And she's just now reporting it. Um, and so, and I'm still reading it. Let's see what else happened. Yeah, so basically she's trying to report that to the police, <laughs> uh, needless to say. But um, that's a pending case. He a, he a judge on The Voice right now, so I don't think that's going to be a good look right now for his career. So. Oh, see, though? Aren't you married? <laughs> yeah. He's married. He is married. I'm shocked. I don't know. But there's a lot of celebrities that have been going on with having, like, sex scandals. Yeah. I guess he's just on on the list now, you know I what I mean? I had high hopes for Tiger. Ruin that. I, I like his music <laughs> though. Maybe do you think that maybe the girl is just trying to you know get money, <laughs> trying to get money? Get his... on tiger. No, but in his case, he was really doing that though. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about the news or about it's... the tiger news. The tiger? Yeah, what happened? Tiger Woods. Oh, you talking about oh, Tiger, Tiger Woods? Woods? I thought oh, you were talking about Tiger, Tiger, like the rapper. Yeah. I'm like, what is the, what did Tiger do this week? No, Tiger Woods. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, Tiger I don't Woods think anybody got worse than Tiger Woods. <laughs> got got. Tiger Woods I thought Kobe Bryant was bad. Tiger Woods, Woods is like... Mm-mm. Tiger, he had the baddest. He paid for the best. But I don't well, understand. He, <laughs> <laughs> he paid for mad mistresses. Yeah, and I bet you the mistress was mad because she wasn't the only mistress. Yeah, it came out the woodwork. Oh, yeah, me too. He had like 30, 30 yeah. mistresses. He got a supermodel for a wife. Crazy. Just greedy. Can't get enough, I guess. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, so back to the importance of voting. Please make sure everybody go out there and vote tomorrow. This is like do or die. Vote. Vote. <laughs> Mm. Vote. It's been such a boring week right here in entertainment this week, yeah, and it's like it's really nothing. Okay, this is entertainment. This is real life. Vote. You gotta get out there and vote. This is, is this show is not even CeeLo like all set all that aside. This is campaign music. Fish. Vote. <laughs> Fish. Hey, please make sure y'all go out there and vote. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Fish. I'm going to try to dig up some more news, play some more music or whatever, because I really don't have much, but um, I'm going to put on some Ludacris real quick for y'all. We'll be right back and see if we can get some more entertainment news off the ground. All right, we'll be back. We are back here on Hawk Radio with Jazzy J, Lawrence Oaks, and Q. Yeah. Got some more news going on with Lil Wayne, where a lot of y'all don't know. He had like two seizures last week, and now over the weekend, he's been ordered to be on bed rest for as long as possible. Wow. Yeah, it's getting real out here. You say you got like two seizures. You on an airplane had a couple Stop seizures. Stop that lean. Hey, hey, hey! You told VH1. Don't worry about what's in my cup. cup. <laughs> <laughs> I said, all right, man. I mean, it's, it's not like you. you okay, it's not like you. You, you one of my favorite rappers. It's not like I'm one of your fans, man. You want to kiss if you, dudes in the mouth? You can, <laughs> man. Go ahead and do what you do, <laughs> man. Nah, dude, I care. You know what I mean? Yeah. The fans care about you. Stop. You're doing crazy. You're doing too much. You're just sitting there sipping on that lean too much and taking on the extra drugs. You know, I don't. I don't drink, so I don't really know what that consists of. No, 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 no. So if, y'all, if anybody knows what that sips means, in with that lean, like, what is, the, what is that? that's scissor. It's medicine. the mixture of cough syrup and Kool Aid. Yeah. 
medicine. Yeah, it's medicine. You so make where some do the Jolly Ranchers come into play? So they, they put you. All in there. They must. They mix it all in there and they. For the sweetness. Yeah, it keeps you high all day. Basically, you just keep drinking and drinking it. But what it does is like it basically clogs up your arteries. Because that's what happened with Pimp C, they said. Like, he was sipping on... He was sipping on the lean, yeah. A lot. And it basically... It, it caused you to have, like, seizures and heart attacks and oh, things of that Bum, nature. Bum B knew he was slipping on that lean. and ain't stop his friend. It's a life. It's like Little Wayne said, what's in his cup is in his cup. So he's going to do whatever he want to do, you know? I've been saying this. From past, from past me, times of me appearing on the show, I think my first time appearing on the show... Why do these famous people do this? Why do people that live that lifestyle do this? Do what? Like hurt, do drugs? Hurt them, yeah, hurt them. Like hurt themselves, poison themselves. Why do they do that? Honestly, I I think that the pressure from the fame sometimes becomes so overwhelming that they want to take something that's going to make them calm or to like block out what's really going on for you know that certain amount of time. But me personally, I'm not into drugs, so I really don't know what they be thinking. But I thought that's what you wanted. <laughs> I mean, like, that lifestyle, that's what you want. That's the reason why you do what you do. But it's crazy because fame is, like, is a killer. Like, people fight to become famous. People do whatever they can to be rich and everything else. But once you get that, like like Biggie said, more money you make, the more problems you get. Mm-hmm. More money, more problems. So, basically, uh-huh. it, I mean, I guess they try to cope with the problems that they have by doing the drugs. or I mean, the music industry, you know... They, you know, they sensationalize off of, you know, talking about drug use and, and cocaine use and drinking and partying and stuff like that. And I guess the more you talk about it, the more you're going to become it, you know? Yeah. More or less to say. But I mean, he ain't the only one. It's all types of... Oh, everybody. He ain't the only one. Yeah, he's not the only one. They smoke pound. They smoke about a pound. Me personally, I'm not... gallon. Me personally, I'm not into I know all that. And I just... I don't know. I don't really care for it. Yeah, don't do that. no, that's mm-hmm. unnecessary for me. Like, I mean, if you wanted to be famous, you got what you wanted. And also, I mean, people be saying, oh, the blogs be talking about me and da 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 da. But it's a lot of real famous people that you really don't see on the blogs like that. So sometimes I wonder, like, is you helping to put yourself on those blog sites so people can talk about you or what, you know? <sighs> Fame is a double edged sword. You know, the funniest thing is, a lot of times people be famous, they don't even have much money that you think they have. Oh, yeah. They be just famous. They, they don't, don't be, be rich. And they, like, if I wanted to live that life, if I wanted that and you worked so hard to get there, mm-hmm. why would you, like... <laughs> That's what people do. You're basically killing yourself. Yeah. Killing but if you see a lot of people, you know, in the industry kill themselves off really quick, you know, because they're doing drugs, like... You ain't gonna be healthy, and especially when you running like they doing. You know, you performing everywhere, you recording. I mean, I know their schedules are hectic. You probably don't sleep. Yeah, a couple of probably don't eat. I had them, um, or they 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 don't eat right. With a couple of artists that had them seizures. You know, Ross had the seizures, mm-hmm. and then Wayne. Rick had Ross had seizures too. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. went in the summer. <laughs> I ain't even hear about that. Yeah, <laughs> my laptop had broke, so I haven't been. Yeah, two of them didn't. Two. <laughs> And they say it was from exhaustion. Okay. Yeah, it's from that cocaine or See, whatever. <laughs> don't start nothing. <laughs> don't start nothing. <laughs> like he's starting nothing. nothing. Oh. I'm just saying. Yeah. People just like trying to make excuses when people know what it is. Like, you know, mm-hmm. like if you talk about doing this specific drug all the time and then all of a sudden you have health problems, why would I be shocked about it? You know? <laughs> Lawrence, please wake up. <laughs> <laughs> it's dry as heck in here, y'all. It's because yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, all we gonna really push for today in the show is voting. It's voting. That's yeah. what that's what this show. Is. We gonna give you a little snippet on entertainment news. That's not important. That's back burner stuff. Yeah, this that's is back burner stuff. That's why we have we our energy is really down, y'all. And I was sitting there saying like, dang, you know, because ain't really nothing going on besides voting. So get your butt out there and vote, please, vote. tomorrow. Because I'm gonna go to bed early. So I could get up early and get on this bus and do my thing and put in my poll vote and everything else. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm, pretty, I'm surprised it's not a lot of young people that's, that's excited about it. Like I'm, I'm really excited about it because I've never done it before. I've, I've never voted. I've never had the chance to. Like I would see the polls in high school, 
and I was too young to vote. Mm -hmm. And now I'm old enough to vote. Now I can actually express yourself. Yeah, put my word in. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited about the whole thing. Like, this will be my first time to vote also because last last election I wasn't old enough to vote. So I didn't turn um, 18 in enough time for me to be able to register. So I'm excited about that whole ordeal and be able to vote finally. Um, it's something that I really, really just, like, was waiting for. So now it's, it's here. So now all I got to do is just find a location. I know the location because it's on the back of my voter's card and get on down there. And if you guys are registered, because I know majority of y'all are still registered if you registered four years ago, your cards still work. And go back down there and vote, you know, because a lot of people have registered because they voted for Obama the first election, but they just being lazy this election. So try to get that energy up and think about what your future could be if you vote. Or if you don't vote. That too. Because if you don't vote, <laughs> you can't complain because you just muted yourself without pushing that button and saying, right. go. Man, everything going kosher, Jazzy J. How about your weekend? My weekend was very, very long, you know. Had um, had work, and then, you know, did Same the little here. posters. Oh, Wands, yeah. Let them know. Let's talk about our new um, logo, y'all. Huh? Our new oh, logo. Yeah, the, the new, um... The new logo. The, the... A poster. Poster. Oh, I thought she was talking about four locals. Excuse no, me. no, not four locals. We just talking about we don't drink. Whoa. No four locals for me. Um, no. Logos. Yeah. Logos. Guys. I Brand new, y'all. This nice. young lady, Mrs. Jazzy J, she is working. definitely going somewhere in life. She working. She yeah. definitely made. She go eat. She she just made <laughs> me and the co-host Q yeah. a nice huge poster for us yeah, to put gonna, in our room. Yeah, she gonna eat. No, it, that, that that photo was actually a mistake. Yeah. That, that wasn't the one that I don't, it came out very 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 good. well. If and we have hold on, let me show y'all what it looked like for y'all that don't know. This is the flyer right here. But my homeboy is right there. Q to the left, me in the middle, and Lawrence. And it took a lot of time. But actually, it went, you know, I had to go over it over and over again for some reason. The thing that I was using, for some reason, you couldn't do an undo button. So it took me like an hour and a half to do this. One little thing. Mm. But oh, it was worth it. One more thing, guys, today. I would like to say thank you. Yeah. Just thank you for giving me and Q an opportunity just to be a co-host on your show. You yeah, know? you know, uh, I was just brought in first, must to be uh, just a guest. Q. Mm -hmm. And they just... Right. Yeah, like, right I mean, there. I feel like without y'all, it's like, it's no me. I feel like, like, before, like, we done so much stuff together, me and Lawrence, like, done videos and everything else. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like... Preach. Like, if mm -hmm. I'm going somewhere, we all going somewhere, you know? Dang. And I just feel like everybody should just get the opportunity to lift each other up instead of bringing each other down. So the slice of the pie. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the point, you know. And I'm um, hoping that we can get further. And you know, what I'm saying finally got the station up going and Fish. doing hard work. You know, we still college students at the end of the day, so we have papers and assignments like everybody else. But sometimes you don't sleep, and that's just how it is when you're trying to make it to the top. My pie flavor is cherry. <laughs> I like fish. <laughs> you had a that was a funny you had a funny day. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm really proud. I'm proud of everybody and stuff and hopefully oh. be yeah, and vote cuz y'all know our hot topics is very dry because ain't nobody yeah. making no reports on no celebrities. No. The only people we hearing right now is Obama and Romney. So my people, my people, please go out and vote. Vote. Especially I Democrats. Know. Especially Democrats. <laughs> This is a public service announcement for all Democrats. Vote. Go out. Vote. Get on the bus. Vote. Sorry, man. Get in your car. Vote. Don't, don't. Go I mean, to hey, vote. Republicans, go ahead and vote, too. But everybody I'm, vote. I'm, it's I'm, a yeah, matter of fact, everybody vote, you know. Do your thing. If you don't vote, you're not American. You are, are you? yeah. You can't be complaining, I feel like. Like I said before, you can't complain if you ain't vote. I'm going to complain, though. But you know what? Like I said before in other interviews, in other uh, interviews and other Thanks. segments, some people can't vote because they can't get off work. Yeah. You know, that's the other thing that that's, sucks that's really, so bad is that, but it was an absentee ballot. Yeah, so yeah. if they knew about that, they would have yeah. been straight. But I, I know, didn't even know about that. Yeah. That was the other thing. I should have like, emphasized that more. But I think I said it a couple of times. We said it a couple of oh, yeah, times last okay. yeah. week. Yeah. 
the absentee thing because you had to put it in like 11 days before the actual election. So um, I know a couple of people that was from Brooklyn and they put in absentee ballots and they was talking about in my one class today how they had voted for Obama, of course, <laughs> and they mm-hmm. had sent their thing in. But um, the polls is kind of scaring me because people are saying that Romney is went in in the polls and right now this is a reality that can be changed. But after tomorrow, it cannot be changed. So y'all need to get your butt up. Y'all need to be prepared. You need to get every person that you know, group, organization together, go down there and vote. I know some people have a uh, problem with transportation. I say, you know, carpool, do what you need to do, call a taxi, call whatever, because it's going to be worth it. Because me, I'm going to say it. I'm not going to class tomorrow. I'm going. That's actually a legitimate reason. Yeah, because I made sure... Purposely, like I made it to all my classes this year, so this particular day, tomorrow, and when I skip class, I have a reason. I'm going to vote, period, because I don't have a car, so it's going to take me 10 times longer to get where I'm trying to go, yeah. especially. Yeah, but shout out to all the commuters. Don't skip class, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but don't, you know. That's the way That's my life. personal thing, but don't don't skip is. class. If you really need to be in class, then go. go class. But, you know, at least email your teacher. I'm not just going to just, yeah, you know, just walk on by and be like, hey, you know. At but least, I, you know. At least email the work. Come on, guys. Hey, yeah, just get your work sure for the day or on, pre-warn yep. your teacher because I pre-warn mine. Yeah, everybody, make sure everybody knows. Any obligations that you have during the day, make sure they know. Well, they, they should know, but make sure that they... They know that this is the reason why you're doing it. And honestly, I don't think any professor is going to be offended no. because it's something that they keep telling us to do anyway. Oh, yeah. It's something that they keep emphasizing in all my classes anyway. So, I mean, I'm just doing my homework, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I'm doing what I've been told from my teacher. Next week, this show is going to be way better because it's probably going to be back to whoever won this election. It's going to be going down because oh, people are going to be having their feelings all mixed up. If Romney wins, um, it's going to be trouble. <laughs> if Obama wins, it's going to be trouble. So it's going to be a lot of stuff going on. And then back to the celebrity news. Also, one more thing. If y'all ain't tuned into Atlanta Housewives on Sunday, that happened yesterday. It was a mess. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. I don't, I don't think... Did y'all see it? No. 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 But um, I had seen that yesterday. It was good. It was on Bravo. There's another season started with Nene Leaks. They got this new girl on King, uh, named Kenya. She's a model. And she, um, I don't really like her. She got a bad attitude. Oh. <laughs> she mm-hmm. do. I'm like, it's like reality TV at its worst now. I don't know. They just seem like they get anybody with don't a bad attitude. Don't watch reality TV. It ain't real. I, I, I protest that. Don't watch reality TV. Mets up our mind, man. You can read a book. Mets up our mind, man. You can Paper. <laughs> don't watch reality. TV. I have to admit that's like pretty much my like only like reality TV show that I really really watch is that. I don't watch so they started a new either. season. I've been watching that forever. I, I do. You know what? Mm. I can't say that because I watch Robin Big sometimes. Don't See, everybody <laughs> watch something because most of the TV is reality TV. You can't get away from it even if you try you to. Know what?